good morning welcome back to another vlog i just getting ready to finally start my day making sure to put on some sunscreen this is the neutrogena ultra sheer i'll use regular suntan lotion if i'm actually going to be like out in the direct sun like at the beach or the pool or something like that but just on like a day-to-day -day, if i'm just going to be like out running errands or walking benny or whatever um i like this one because it doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't have like a strong sunscreen smell so yeah it's good for like everyday kind of use and then i put my circadia SPF on my face which I do every single day. I've learned in recent years that you really should apply sunscreen all the time no matter what like year round even if it's cloudy out um, even if you're not leaving the house because any sunlight that's like even coming in through your windows can cause damage to your skin but I love the spray because it adds a nice glow to your skin and it just looks so nice especially over a tan also i blew out my hair last night um for the first time in a while when i wear it naturally curly obviously it like shrinks up a lot more but look how crazy it's like down to the middle of my back now this is like the longest i think my hair has ever been here is what i'm wearing it kind of feels a little bit like um a moo moo or i don't know <laughs> like nightgown vibes kind of and it's like definitely not the most flattering thing ever because there's zero shape to it at all whatsoever but it's just so comfortable and I feel so free under here I am wearing bike shorts just because like it's too flowy I would feel like way too naked if I didn't have shorts underneath this is from H&M I got it last summer and I'm putting on my new necklace this is my favorite necklace at the moment I've been wearing this non-stop and then i have new rings too this one super cute and then this one is literally just like a chain cute and dainty i love the look of rings but i find that especially in the summertime if I'm out and about, like it's super hot and humid out, my fingers can swell a little bit. And then the rings just start to feel super uncomfortable. And I just hate that feeling. But these are like nice and thin. So I don't even feel that they're on. They're really comfortable. So these have been my go-tos the last few weeks. And all of these pieces are from Ana Luisa, which they are sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Thank you so much to them. I would say like 98% of the jewelry that I own is all from Ana Luisa, and I love it. I have turned my friends and my mom all onto them. They're sustainable, which makes them stand out to me. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions. They make all of their jewelry in small batches to eliminate excess waste. And their pieces are all really high quality. So so, like I said, these have been my go-to pieces for the summer. In the past, I used to just avoid wearing jewelry for the most part in the summertime because if I'm like out sweating or if I go to the pool, if I go to the beach, whatever, like I get my jewelry wet, it would start to tarnish over time and just not look as nice. It would stain my skin green. But my Ana Luisa pieces, I can wear all the time, anywhere. My earrings are actually from them as well, these Huggies and I keep them in all the time. I've had them for months now, and I never take them out. They say in my ears all the time, in the shower, when I'm swimming, etc. and you can see they still are amazing quality. Same thing with these bracelets. This one, oh my god, I've had for over a year now, and again, I never take it off. This one I've had for a few months, never take it off i mean you know if you watch my videos like you see these bracelets are always on my wrist everything that i have from them holds up really well so if you're looking for higher quality jewelry for a more affordable price their jewelry starts at 39 dollars, and i have a discount code that will save you 10 percent off your order so check the description box click that link and save yourself 10 percent i'm gonna take benny out for a walk before i leave and then i need to stop at my apartment complex's office i have a package i need to pick up i need to print out some shipping labels and then go to the post office 
ship out a couple of Poshmark orders. Let's go. Let's get this day started finally. Oh, that's how humid it is out. Thank you so much, you too. It feels so good checking things off your to-do list. Especially I have the habit of like putting things off to the last minute. Got some lunch at Starbucks. I went to Target, as you saw, after the post office. I had a Target Circle discount on a, a lunch item. So I got a tomato mozzarella sandwich. I'm so excited to eat that because I haven't eaten anything yet today. And then I got a couple grocery things. I was out of tomato sauce. So I got this fire roasted tomato and garlic one. And then I have so many shoes in my closet and I have a little shoe rack in there, but it's completely full. And the rest of my shoes, I literally just have like lined up on the floor in my closet. And it's starting to get a little bit overwhelming and just taking up a lot of space. So I wanted to get one of these shoe racks that you can hang on the back of the door. So we'll get this set up and organized later. Very excited though about that. It'll be nice to just like clear up some floor space in my closet. I feel like it'll make it just feel a lot less cluttered. And then I needed a new shower curtain because the one, or shower curtain liner, because the one that I currently have is looking disgusting and then i got a book it's been months since the last time i read um and i just i want to do it more and i was actually just watching one of brooke michio's vlogs this morning and she was sharing her favorite summer reads and this was one of them it's about two women that are like strangers i guess but they have some kind of shared past that they need to confront and i don't know I know Brooke was saying that there's like a lot of twists and turns in it and it was good. I actually got a library card last week. Sometimes it feels silly buying a book because I know I can just borrow one from the library, but I feel like when I spend the money purchasing a book, it like gives me more initiative to actually read it. Cause I'm like, oh bitch, you've spent money on this. Like you better read it, you know? But I'm hoping that reading this will kind of like get me back into reading and want to read more. I am going to eat my sandwich now, which is getting kind of cold. Then I have a little bit of computer work to do. Once I'm done with that, we will do the shoe rack. I wanted to share whenever I am doing computer work, I like to put on like some background noise. So I go on YouTube and I'll just search like rain sounds or fireplace sounds, beach sounds, like whatever kind of mood I'm in and it's just so relaxing and I don't know just something about having like that background noise like helps me focus I remember when I used to do internet marketing my manager there always encouraged us to put on some kind of like relaxing soothing background noise and I remember there was this one that we would always put on and it was like um, a cabin and there was like a blizzard happening outside and you could hear like the fire and the fireplace crackling and it was like so peaceful and nice and I don't know like ever since that I always got in this habit of like putting on some background noise. Here's what the closet looks like. So I have this shoe rack 
that's completely full and then all of these shoes just laid out here like I had said so obviously I'm not gonna be able to fit boots in here so I'm gonna just put all of my smaller shoes and then I am gonna just put boots and bigger shoes on this Here's how it looks. I am so happy. Look at all this room that's in here now. Oh, it feels so much better. And I even had some leftover room on the shoe rack in here. So that is very exciting. And I love that you can see through it so I can still see all of my shoes. Cause that's the thing, like it's nice having things out and easily accessible and on display because I feel like when you can see your stuff, you're more likely to wear it. Whereas if it's like packed away in a drawer or something, you know, like if, if you don't see it, you forget that you have it sometimes. This is what it is from the Bright Room brand. Highly recommend if you need some storage like this. And all of my robes I just put behind this door now. Good morning! Happy Monday. It's been a few days since the last clip you saw. The weather was pretty shitty all weekend, so I literally just stayed inside and I read this book all weekend. It definitely touches on like pretty heavy subjects, and I definitely feel like it was a little bit predictable. Like, I definitely started already like figuring out what was going on from the beginning, but even still, it was good, but it still kept me going. I just like, I'm a big um, thriller, mystery, true crime kind of person. So I feel like anytime I watch a movie or read a book or anything that has any kind of like plot twist, I usually can call what's gonna happen from the beginning just cause I like consume so much of those kinds of storylines. But yeah, it was still good, still recommend either way. And now that I finished that book, it's like getting me excited about reading again so if you guys have any recommendations leave them down below i like a lot of different genres definitely fiction though but today i'm very excited because i am getting my nails and my toes done and especially ooh, my freaking toes <laughs> i've been needing a pedicure badly for the last few weeks so uh yeah i'm excited about that and I'm gonna get my nails filled, probably cut them down a little bit. I'm not sure what color I wanna do yet. And then I'm also getting a wax, which I'm doing that first, actually. Very casual outfit, by the way. I have this like ripped up vintage looking shirt from Forever 21, bike shorts, and then I'm gonna wear my black pillow slides. It's so crazy, I just took Benny out for a walk and I think the high today is only supposed to be 85 and it feels, <laughs> I don't wanna say cold cause that's probably being dramatic, but like compared to how it's been, it's been like close to 100 degrees and super humid, which makes it feel even hotter obviously. So today it's like not very humid out and it's a little bit cooler than it's been and just in comparison, I'm used to like stepping outside and being like, oh my God. And it's really nice out, but I'm like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not used to it now and it feels like kind of chilly in comparison, which is so crazy to think. I, I'm telling you, I was born to live in this weather. Last week, my friend Julia came to visit me and she is one of those people who gets hot very easily and I'm the complete opposite. I get cold very easily and I don't sweat easily. But yeah, we're just two polar opposites when it comes to that. And we went out downtown and I don't even know what the temperature was, but it was pretty humid. But to me, it felt so good. And she was literally dripping sweat. She was miserable. And meanwhile, like I'm dry. <laughs> like I don't have 
any sweat, any raw on me. I thrive in warm, humid weather. But anyway, I need to leave to head to my appointment now. I'm gonna bring you with me, so let's go. Just got home from all of my appointments. Here's how my nails turned out. I love this color. Did the same color on my toes. I cannot remember for the life of me the name of this color. It's just like a orangey red, but I feel like it makes me look super tan. It feels so good to have, you know, your nails and toes freshly done, especially my feet. They feel so much better. Um, and it's so funny, like I, almost never have my hands and feet matching colors and i feel so like put together right now it's like when your bra and panties match you know like that's how i'm feeling right now <laughs> it's actually really beautiful outside although now it's starting to get a little cloudy so it might start to rain soon but temperature wise it's like really comfortable outside right now so i think i'm going to take advantage of it and take Benny for a nice long walk around the apartment complex and hopefully it doesn't start raining. Mm, yeah. You wanna go for a walk? I still have the air mattress out from when Julia was visiting, so I need to put that away, but you ready to go? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah, you wanna go for a walk? <gasps> Success. We went on our entire walk, didn't start raining, but I'm about to give myself an eyelash lift and tint, and I'm gonna be recording a tutorial. And that'll probably be up before you see this vlog, so if you haven't seen it and you wanna see it, I will put a link in the description, but I'm excited. Um, it's been like at least two months since the last time I did it, and it, I'm definitely due. So you'll see the difference that it makes in my eyes. It just makes my eyes look like more open and awake. So here is the before. Here's after. There's like a little bit of residue and staining still on my lid, but I have to wait 24 hours before I can get my lashes wet. I am actually gonna go start editing that video so that way i can post it tomorrow morning like i said though by the time you're watching this it already is up and then in ooh, like about 30 minutes or so i'm gonna be recording a new episode of my podcast with my best friend julia you're so cute i mean i'm not surprised because they got married super fucking young I'm pretty sure it was just because he was in the military and she had moved around with him a bunch. I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to give you mine just yet. Like, you'll get to know me a little too well. Mm-hmm. So I, he was like, yeah, I'll give it a few more days. So a few hours later, I was getting ready to go to bed. And then I was like, uh, hello, wait a second, you're vlogging. <laughs> so I just wanted to share. I don't always do this, but when I'm wearing my hair wavy it can get tangled and be a hot freaking mess when i sleep most of the time i will just sleep with it in like a loose low bun but sometimes i will do what i'm doing right now so brushing through it because i could just feel all day it was like getting so tangled so i'm using my Framar detangling brush has like very flexible bristles, kind of like the wet brush. So brush all those tangles and then I just run the brush under the faucet and then brush through my hair just to get my hair a little bit damp. Part it. I've been doing it down the middle so. Split it 
down the middle. Bring everything forward and then take a belt from a robe, put it on top of your head, and then I just grab a little section, twist it around, then grab a little more hair, add that, kind of like doing a French braid almost, but just twisting it around the rope. And each time I grab another section of hair, I twist it around. I've shown this in vlogs before, but in case you missed it or you've never seen anyone do this before, when I get to the end, I just wrap around. And this is nice because if you have naturally straight hair, this will add a nice curl to it without having to apply heat to your hair. And whenever you're doing a heatless curl, it always lasts better because your hair is like really setting and molding into that shape. And if you have naturally wavy or curly hair like I do, this can kind of keep your hair like a little more neat. It makes the curls a little bit more manageable. So the way my hair looked all day today is a result of me doing this style. Because last night I washed my hair and then when it was damp before I went to bed, I wrapped it like this. But then, you know, if it starts to get kind of tangled throughout the day, when you're going to bed the next night, you can just do this all over again and refresh it. And there's nothing on the back of my head, so it's super comfortable to sleep and it's like very soft. This is my favorite type of heatless curl to do because I feel like it's just the fastest to do, most comfortable to sleep in. So yeah, if you haven't tried this out yet, give it a try. But I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here so that way I can just start a new one for the rest of the week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to Anna Luisa. That's where these hoops that I was wearing today are from as well. So I hope that you guys have an amazing week and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.